bought the RV in Idaho, but we are residents of Florida. Here's the procedure. You have to have the VIN number verified by an agency that we chose, the police department here in Caulfield, Idaho. So what the procedure is, is you go find a place to park. We're here at the Dollar Tree in Caldwell. And then you call the police, you guys have a special number to call them. You call the police and then they will come out to the uh, RV and verify the VIN number. And all it takes is a police officer to sign it and his, put his badge or her badge number on the farm and then we send it into Florida. It's the procedure, so we have to wait now for the police to come, and that's what we'll do. In a humorous kind of way, you could say we have to call the police on ourselves. Well, we're still waiting. We put the awning out. They said it may take a while. We'll see. Still waiting. The police department one block that way. I guess they have more important business to take care of than signing a document so we can get a registration in Florida. That's okay. But there's one thing about it. We're at the house. <laughs> that gentleman on the bike right there just stopped by and gave Scooter a treat. Scooter dropped it in the dirt. There he is. If you hold him, I'll take care of him. Yes, indeedy. There he is. <laughs> no, we're good. All right. I'm just going to be on the other side and park in the chicken. This canine unit, maybe Scooter can uh, participate. That beer says that Modelo's, it's the middle ad at the top there. It's people, it's made, it's brewed for those with a fighting spirit. <laughs> That's interesting. He said they have their own. Well, our farm wouldn't work. He's in the, uh, in his unit there, writing out, uh, using his own form. And he said he has to use due diligence, that is to say that he tried his best to verify the uh, VIN number. And they got him pretty good short amount of time he got it about 35 minutes but they have a bomb threat going on they got some kind of problems at a nursing home and some emergencies really happen at the same time just double check that that one is good i know oh thank you you're welcome that sky is just filled you feel like how are they not running into each other just so many is massive we'll just, amounts we'll and do wave that, after sir. wave yeah. after wave but so the criminal's coming out too, right? So yeah. if you stay the RV in on the lot, so safe, right? Because no one really gets in there unless you have your pass. Okay. That's what I suggest. If you go to the hotels, we tried to, I was law enforcement there for 18 oh, years. Oh, you know that. <laughs> yes. The areas the hotels are on, they get hit often. So I wouldn't suggest taking an RV out to other places. We stay places. in this 24 seven. We don't go to hotels or anything. Perfect, yeah. yeah. So I wouldn't I wouldn't go to some outside RV places that they have there. I just can't bear it. But Thank you. on, we'll on the grounds themselves. Oh my gosh, it is really the, the most gorgeous thing. Awesome. Let me ask you a question. I have sure. a YouTube channel. Yep. And I want to ask you a question. Do you mind going on YouTube? I can't say that I can. I can't tell you what to do with yours. I cannot verify with the Caldwell Police Department that I have authorization to go on anyone's YouTube okay. channel. But if you'd like to ask me a question... I'd as like here, to ask you a question. Okay. Do you mind if I record it? I cannot it's, it's tell a you. Fair as, a, question. as a citizen, you have the right to record whatever you want to record. <laughs> well, let me ask you. In your, in your occupation, yes. do you ever have someone try you, act out in front of you on purpose, maybe rev their engine or act out just to to try you you know what i mean test you I, I i can't i can't testify to their intentions oh. sometimes based on their behavior you would think that they would or that they have yeah. in, in all actuality it's really difficult to think that someone would actually do that in front of a law enforcement officer either they're ignorant to my presence or maybe yes that they are they're trying to get a reaction out of one. That's what I mean. Well, anyway, that's yes, interesting. Yes, I've seen that quite a few times over my, <laughs> my career, that okay. you have people just trying to get a reaction out of you. Well, you're a real nice guy, and we appreciate yes. you. We really do. And we, do. Do and we love we Idaho. We that yes. festival. Excellent. It's gorgeous. By your recommendation. Right no YouTube okay. recommendations. Yours. <laughs> well, having done it for, oh, man, 18 years, it is one of the things that stands out in my mind as being just an amazing event. Absolutely right. amazing. And the food, if you haven't had red and green chili, that's one thing I miss yeah. more than anything over there is the red and green chili, the food. Just We had that when we were there. Mm -hmm. 
Mm -hmm. All righty. Well. All right. Well, anything else? Please let us know. No, sir. Thank you, sir. Stay Thank safe. You Thank you okay. kindly, Thank you sir. So much. Take <laughs> Thank you. You have a great day. He didn't write us a ticket. <laughs> well, we had to come back over Bish's where we bought the uh, RV. Had some kind of problem with the paperwork, so we're going to going to go in there and see uh, see what the problem is and take care of it. Hey, you Scooter. He had a bath in, uh, this weekend, or a couple of days ago, and uh, he found some dirt today. He got into it the big time. It's kind of like you, loopy loop. I call that my sarcastic signature. Oh, well, you're right. Thank you. Good girl. Well, we're still here at Bish's and we're waiting for the person to come help us fix the uh, the paperwork problem. But what I'll do when I'm here, I'll go ahead and show you around a little bit. So let's take a walk around. You can see we have a pretty nice store here. I haven't been through this, but we're gonna go take a walk through it and see what they have here. Let's go. All kind of items, look at here. That's $264 for that. Can you believe that? And we'll go around here and see what we have here. All kinds of RV supplies here. I can only imagine just about anything you need in as far as uh, supplies go. You can see that. All these, they call these dog bones here. Very important if you have an RV to have all these supplies with you, especially these. You never know what you're going to get into to supply your electricity. And these, I actually have one of these. We have one of these. We have a 50 amp, and they're wonderful, the uh, watchdog. Now you won't need one of these for Class A because they have their own jacks, stabilizing jacks. That's unusual for an RV store to be selling a generator. 1,000 watt. I have an actually a 2,200 watt, or we do. You see a lot here. It's all kinds of stuff you're gonna need here. Well, these are items that you typically, typically cannot buy anywhere else. You might get a few things at Walmart, but here you can get just about everything that you need is for all your propane needs here. That's very important, of course. Mats, some kitchen items here. Collapsibles, you'll need that because you don't have much space in an RV. Furniture, they even sell furniture here. Now, this is something that you need your ladder in order to get on the back there, an extension ladder. We have RV furniture here. This is made specifically for RVs. Nice, fit right in your RV. And all these various hitches, and there's so many, I certainly couldn't tell you which one is which. But one of the things is Bish himself. This gentleman is an image of the gentleman who started it. His name is uh, Bish Jenkins, and uh, he started this years ago. He uh, obtained a very good reputation for treating the customer right and uh, became a prominent citizen of Meridian, Idaho. We got a lot of people work here. That's Brandon. He's getting ready to help us right now. And this is Brandon. He's getting ready to help us. He's getting ready to help us straighten out some paperwork right here. Maybe this is the agreement to provide insurance. That makes it official. This one, you initial right here. Oh. And we're, we're, we're recording right now. Actually, I'm making a movie, a YouTube movie about really? fish, about buying this RV and all oh, kind of yeah. stuff. You're going to be on RV or USA? RV or you USA. Do. RV or USA. Oh my gosh, well, it's nice to meet you. Hey, look, wait. <laughs> there it is. Another What's brand. Another brand. Another brand. Yep. Brand. Nice to meet you. He's going to get in DJI Osmos 6. That's the one. Right here. Oh, it's awesome. 150 <laughs> bucks. All right. And you guys just bought your trailer? Here at Main Street Burger in Meridian, Idaho. Time for a snack. They just brought Scooter out some water. They got you some baby water. Closely acquainted, familiar, close, a very close friend, private and personal. Well, it's not only a sexual encounter. No. But to be yes. intimate. You can be very closely yes. acquainted. No, it does not necessarily equate. <laughs> no. Well, according always, to Webster. Well, Webster maybe had a different idea of it, but my understanding is to be intimate when you refer to two people that you, they have. You have a very limited understanding. That's it. Hmm. 
That's the way I see that. Well, if you if you say a couple is having well, an intimate relationship, that means they're very close, and it doesn't necessarily mean they're that close. Why? I think I have a better understanding now. You're not as limited. But my brain is uh, has a limited slip brain. You know what that means, don't you? There we go. There, there you, you are, are. Right there. That fixes the problem. It just explains the problem. I hope we don't have to go back there again. I feel done. All right, dude. What's the name of this place? Main Street Burgers. Main Street Burger. Yeah, yeah, I didn't charge you that thirty-eight dollars for hamburger. I remember you used to get a steak dinner for that. For two. For two. Well, with, with wine. My just the drinks were three dollars each, so they're six dollars. Scooters was the most expensive. He got chicken tenders and fries because I didn't get fries with ours, so we did his fries, and I got the crispy chicken. It was ten fifty, and your burger was eight dollars. Well, I and the tip was seven six dollars. I worked at the fast food joint when I was a kid. It paid me like seventy five cents an hour. And you liked it. I liked it. Had a lot of fun. They didn't make any money on me. I gave oh, half of it away though. Because in the Navy town, if I even just met the person, I'd bring up zero. I worked the window. They made a real mistake putting me on yes, the window. Because I didn't have any idea what I was doing. You were robbing them. I was robbing them without realizing I was oh, yeah. oh, that's for the dog. Thank you kindly. Thank you, hon. He ate all the burger. I want some. This is a real burger. Mm. I'm glad uh, these aren't covered with a thick crust. The bun is not two inches thick on each side. Fixins and That's chicken. Do we get chicken tender? I would eat this every day. Got a lot done today. Or tomorrow, we put a solar on the roof. Chocolate cone. A large chocolate cone. I'll have the same. We're going to top the day off with an ice cream cone at Dairy Queen. Thank you for choosing Dairy Queen. Go ahead and order whenever you're ready. Two large chocolate cones, and that'll do it. Two large chocolate cones? Yes, please. All right, that's going to be 888 at the window. Thank you. All right, then. Too cool. That's a $50 bill. You're going to actually let me keep the change. Hello. Hey. How you doing? I'm sorry? How you doing? I'm good. How are you? Oh, better than nothing. Is that a hickey on your neck? I'm sorry? Is that a hickey on your neck? No, I have really, like, oh. I don't, I have a skin condition, so I scratch my neck a lot, like my nails. I assume the best or the worst. Yeah. However you want to look at it. All right, 41.12 oh. is your change. Oh, darling. All right, here is that first cone for you. Thank you, hon. Thank you. And then here is that second one. Thank you, baby. Of course, have We appreciate one. you. Thank okay. you. Extremely beautiful weather. It's hot, but it's a dry hot, if you know what I mean. Well, that was a lot of fun. We had a, a very busy day, but we accomplished quite a bit. It's just good. You know how it is. It's just good to get that kind of stuff out of the way and uh, go on about. You kind of feel freer. Go watch the video. Be sure to subscribe to this channel. We uh, would appreciate that. You can give us a thumbs up. Share this video if you would and uh, leave a comment that's always nice a constructive comment we always welcome and uh, so thank you very much for visiting with us and you have a great day and be sure to keep the faith